I'm going to be presenting the Aerial 2 study, which is a phase 2 trial of Rucaparib, an oral PARP inhibitor, in women with relapsed high-grade ovarian cancer. This is the first study when we've been using tumour genetic analysis to identify prospectively a group of women who we think are going to benefit from PARP inhibitor therapy. Previously, the trials of PARP inhibitors have been in women with germline mutations in BRCA1 and BRCA2, but this is the first trial in which we've identified a group of women who do not have germline mutations who have benefited from the drug. The real genius behind the Aerial 2 study is that we're using tumor genetic analysis based on the scarring in the DNA that is common in high-grade serous ovarian cancer and using that to classify women into biomarker positive patients who we think will benefit from the study. The good news is that in Aerial 2, the group of women who have this genomic scarring signature have had a very good response rate of over 40% and a progression-free survival of over seven months. That's exactly what we predicted would happen and it indicates that there's a group of women who do not have germline mutations in BRCA1 and BRCA2 but yet they will still benefit from treatment with a PARP inhibitor. Aerial 2 is the first study in the world to demonstrate that you can identify a group of women who do not have mutations in BRCA1 and BRCA2 and yet they will still respond to a PARP inhibitor and get clinical benefit from it. And that's why the data we're presenting are really exciting.